Okay, so here you have it, the Zone 9 II. Um, first couple questions people ask about, uh, one of them being the four band EQ feature on this mixer versus the Pioneer, which is just a three band. Um, and somebody also wanted to know a little bit more about the Q monitoring features on this mixer, which is also a little bit different than the Pioneers. So let me first explain the four band EQ. Uh, what you have exactly is you're gonna have your gains up top, of course, and then you're gonna have a high EQ, a high mid EQ, a low mid EQ, and a low EQ knob. Um, it's not a zero kill EQ, however, it's very close. I'm about as close as you're going to get, but you still do hear a little bit of sound uh, with them turned all the way down, so I can't really call it a zero kill. Um, if you're going to mix with this mixer using these features, uh, your, your EQs and your faders uh, alone, this is still a great mixer. I don't want to mislead anybody and make them think that this mixer is all about the filters. It's not. It's just the filters is what I use. I think there's a little bit of an advantage there, and I'll uh, explain a little bit more about that in a minute. But um, like I said, this is still a great mixer uh, mixing that way, so, so hopefully you still buy it for those purposes and it works just fine. You'll be very pleased. Um, the Q monitoring uh, selection on this mixer versus the Pioneer, and if I can recall correctly, the Pioneer, you're able to see uh, the overall output of what's being played um, simultaneously with uh, being able to monitor your Q. I can't remember if there's, there's I think maybe on the Pioneer, there's two uh, monitors down here, two visuals to be able to see where your, uh, your levels are at. Um, on this mixer, what they do is they only give you one visual or one LED display um, to see what your levels are. And as you bring it in, um, if you select, let's say for example, I have channel one playing right now. It's gonna, with no Q feature selected, just like the Pioneer, you'll see your level down here and you'll see the overall level out here. Um, if I were to select channel three, It'll show, you, show me my levels both on the channel down here and my what's being queued, my levels right here. So as you bring it in, uh, you're only going to be able to monitor, basically it's showing the same thing on both LED displays. So as you bring it in, the only way to see the overall output is going to be to unselect the queue. Um, and that's what's basically coming through the monitors right now. And then you'd have to reselect the cue if you're trying to monitor through your headphones, your beats, or, or any adjustments that way. Um, so what Allen and Heath did is if you want to monitor them both at the same time, is you're going to have to select your split cue feature on this mixer. And so it's going to split your left and right display up, up top here. And as you bring a track in, I kill all the way all the way down on one, and you can see my overall level is going to be zero on the right side. What's queued is going to be my left side right here. I'll bring one back in. I have three queued. So this is your overall, I'm sorry, your right side is your overall display of the overall volume coming out the monitors. And as you bring it in, you're able to monitor that level on the right side. The left side is still uh, continuously going to be uh, your Q level. Um, and so if you wanted to monitor both up top the same way, um, then, then you can. This, this mixer can do it. However, I don't really use that feature. I don't think it's really necessary. If you want to monitor your levels, uh, you can do it down here. Um, but you really don't have to. I think when you first start bringing a track in or as you're making your adjustments before you bring a track in, you should monitor your levels. Make sure I usually start at about two blues is where I like to have my track set as I start bringing it in. And my overall output is going to be two solid blues. Uh, maybe hit three on occasion and uh, your filters is going to make a little bit of an adjustment on your overall volume as well. So um, I think the reason Alan Heath did it that way is because uh, they, they kind of eliminate features that you're really, things that you don't really need to do and being able to monitor both at the same time is a good example of that and maybe that's just my opinion uh, but I think some others will agree that uh, as long as you can get, you first get an idea of where your levels are before you start bringing a track in. The rest of it should be done by ear. But like I said, that's just my opinion. So hopefully that answers your questions about the four band EQ um, and your your Q monitoring features on this mixer. Um, if you have any other questions, just go ahead and, and shoot me a message, and I'll do my best to post a new video and explain those features. But uh, this is a great mixer, and I encourage everybody to go out and buy it. Um, maybe at some point in time I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the filters and how to use them and what's going on there exactly. Um, but for now that's it. So thank you for watching and take care.